Hello and welcome back to Gratify and to another video. Uh, please excuse the noise, it's absolutely peeing it down with rain. Uh, I was hoping to do a walk around uh, today of the car uh, and show you the aesthetic mods that I had made up until now, but the weather has really turned bad on me. Um, I don't know if you can, I'm sure you can hear it, I don't know if you can see what it's like right now. Uh, so I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely not going to be doing a walk around today. Uh, There's also no point in me cleaning the car because it would have got ditched between the, the car wash and getting here to, uh, to the box. I do, however, have a mod that I am able to do today because I can do it inside. Uh, and I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to prepare the materials and we'll get to that in a moment. Okay, so the rain has died down a little. I've reopened the roller doors. Uh, so we can have a bit more natural light and I'm going to try and continue with uh, uh, making this uh, video for you. Now, uh, as per the title, you know that what I'm going to be doing is changing the number plates on uh, the car. Now, here in France, you can't have private number plates, so the numbers are going to remain the same as they are. Uh, however, uh, the reason I want to change the number plates is purely for uh, from an aesthetic point of view. You know the car already has um, black contrasting against the red pretty much all around. The only things that aren't black now visually on the car are the brake discs, for example, and the number plates. Uh, also, Gratify uses black, red, and white within its, uh, its logo, the color scheme. So uh, what I wanna try and do, fortunately I have a red car. I can, uh, I can keep the look of the car in line with uh, well, the Gratify brand, really. Now, on the, uh, your number plates, a homologated number plate in France um, will have uh, the European symbol here and the country logo, obviously French, and also a deep departmental uh, logo, as you can see here. Let me zoom in on that a bit. And it's corresponding departmental number. Now, departments like a county uh, would be equivalent to a county in the UK. Um, and obviously the font and the font size, again, is homologated. There are only, I think, four that are allowed. I'm gonna be changing my plate to have a black background here and here. Uh, now that is not homologated, but by all accounts, it seems to be tolerated by the forces uh, of the law. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with that and and see how we can get on. Now, what I have here are my new or the replacement number plates, which, as you can see, have the uh, the black background behind the country identifier, and obviously the uh, I can show you that bit better the uh, the department number. And I actually have had these number plates made up with the Gratify logo in them. So uh, am I taking a risk with these plates? Possibly, uh, but we'll, we'll see how we go, get on with that. Uh, the, uh, the font is obviously a different one, but it is a homologated font, as is the font size. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to do with this plate, as you can see on the old plates, uh, they are riveted in place here and here. Uh, I think riveting does cause a little bit of damage behind. I don't know if you can see that um, when there's pressure on the plate. Uh, so what I intend to do is to actually uh, use a double-sided tape, a 3M double-sided tape, to stick the new plate on. And that way there'll be no, no riveting, um, nothing to sort of blemish the plate in any, in any way, shape or form. Now, I've chosen a 3M tape, uh, if I can get my hands on that. Uh, it is a 3M tape. It is uh, resistant to, to UV rays. It's waterproof. Uh, it's for indoor and outdoor use. Uh, between temperatures of plus 90 degrees centigrade and minus 40 degrees centigrade. So I think this should be uh, perfectly fine to, to fix the, the plate to the car and uh, for it to remain there and not fall off. What I have, obviously, to do the job, I have a a cordless drill to drill the, the rivets here. I also have a heat gun. Now you can use a hairdryer if you wish, but this is just to, uh, to heat up both surfaces so that we get a good adherence with the tape. Um, anything, if it's too cold, 
the tape might not stick so well if it's too hot the tape might not uh, stick too well so the idea here is just to get the right temperature so the tape is nice and sticky and forms a good bond so I'll start uh, getting things into position here and uh, we'll come back and uh, get going on removing the first number plate okay so the first task is going to be to get these rivets out so I'm gonna drill gently and quick tighten it up I'm going to reverse that and see if that will free itself up or not. No, it's not quite there yet. Oh, actually we've got the top off. Yeah, that one's done. We'll do the same with the second one. Okay. And we are now number plate free. So what I'm going to do is give this a, this a good wipe around, get rid of all the dirt, just making sure that all, all bits of dirt and the grime that I've obviously got trapped behind the plate over time are removed. Right so here are the plates in place, I'm going to use the heat gun to uh, warm them up a little. The idea here is to warm them to so they, they're warm to touch, not hot. Obviously we don't want to damage the, uh, the reflective material or the plastics uh, any, in any way. So we're just gonna heat them so they're, they're warm to the touch, uh, warmer than uh, the, temp the outside temperature, which at the moment is something like about uh, only 11 degrees, but uh, warm to the touch so that the, the tape will stick nicely to the back. And the idea here will be to put probably, I think three strips, um, across each of the number plates so let's get warming and there you can see I'm holding the gun probably a good 20 to 25 centimeters away uh, it is a very hot uh, a hot tool so we don't want to uh, get too close to risk uh, blemishing the plates I'm just going to keep uh, going from left to right or front to back just so we're not resting for too long on any one spot Plates should just start to be feeling warm now. And I think a minute or two should probably be enough for the heat gun. Obviously, if you're using a hairdryer, the heat is less intense, so you could probably be a little closer. Um, but again, not too close because, um, as we know, the heat can damage plastics and so on and so forth. So. Okay, those are feeling nice and warm now. So we're going to prepare some uh, some adhesive strips. So get that tape stuck down here. Now I actually have a cutting knife, so hopefully that will do a, a reasonable job for me. Okay, so now I'm going to apply some heat to the number plate holder on the car. So we've got a nice warm surface for the other side of the tape to stick to. Okay, so we're going to get to peeling off the backing off the tape here. Alright, so now we have a pretty delicate operation here, which is to Get that plate lined up in place, central, uh, and not stuck down too much in case we have to make a slight adjustment anyway. See that tape really is ready to, to grip straight away. So I think, like I said, we need three or four millimeters from the top and from either side, which I think we have there. So I'm gonna let go of that, it should be slightly stuck already. I'm just going to push in the middle there. Now I'm not going to fully push it down until I believe that everything is, is level. We are on a flat surface here, so I could technically get a, a spirit level on there to be 100% sure. But I think we can get away with doing it by eye. I'm going to pull down a little bit on the right, okay, and 
push the top into place. I think we're pretty straight all the way along and pretty central on both sides there. So now I'm going to fix the rest of the tape into position. Applying nice even pressure across the whole of the plate. Seems like a pretty good fit to me. Should we have to step back away and have a, a better look at that? Obviously, there is the backing tape to come off, or the sorry, the protective uh, film to come off the front of the plate, which I will do in a moment. But I'm going to try and back out here. But the wind is picking up, and it's uh, it's raining again. Definitely not a great day for shooting video, unless of course you can shoot your video inside. It seems to be pretty well stuck down. So we'll go ahead and remove the uh, protective film off the front of the number plate. Okay, and there we are, the front number plate, all nicely uh, offered up and fitted to the car. Seems like the spacing is equal all the way around, I'm pretty happy with that. It's not lifting at any point, really solidly stuck in place there, so uh, hopefully we won't have any problems with that uh, detaching or falling off. What I'm going to do now, we're going to take a quick pause. I'm going to take the car out, turn it around, uh, bring it back in, and uh, we'll take off the rear number plate and uh, add this new one in. Catch you in a moment. Okay, so the car's been turned around. Now what we're going to try and do, because we don't actually have a placeholder here, or so it doesn't appear to be that way, is uh, we're going to clean all the way around and I will clean behind but before I actually remove this plate I want to kind of build my own placeholder so that when it goes back into position it's exactly right that appears to be fairly clean so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some masking tape around the edge of the plate so we've got a, a guide when we want to apply the replacement plate so I'm gonna go off of that right up to the bottom edge of the plate there making sure it's uh, as level as possible don't really want it to touch the plate Let's get that nice and lined up. Okay, so that's our guide. We're going to drill these rivets to take off the plate. Clean up uh, the back, which I believe is just the bodywork warm it up a bit and then apply the uh, the new plate in its place okay I'm just going to that rest gently there I already had some sticky tape behind it or padding padding more than tape so that might be a slight complication for me because uh, they look like maybe they should have added some sort of backing plate there and this has already been changed at some point so okay can't always be smooth sailing 
let's, uh, let's progress with the second rivet. Okay, that seems to have... Oh no, it hasn't. Okay. Okay. I line up the, the new plate. Yeah, there's no way where the even if I was to drill the plate right through the black dashes here, there's no way that would line up with any of the holes that are already in place. So, this has to be done today. I'm going to have to have a good think about it. Probably is going to mean removal of this uh, this padding here, a complete clean up uh, of the bodywork. And then um, hopefully we'll stick above and below these ridges here. It looks like it would go, yeah, looks like it'd stick along this line here and above the ridge here. So it should be on clean bodywork once I've painted that off. These on the ends will be fine. The one in the middle may not stick so well because it looks like that's recessed slightly. But uh, okay, well, I'm going to get around to trying to clean that up. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video here and we'll come back once it's done. In, a, in an ideal world I probably could do with polishing this. But as I said, because it's going behind the number plate, the only bit that will be visible, and it's barely visible, will be above the number plate, the line on the plate here. And I'll polish that by hand afterwards okay so we are going to heat that area okay, that's very nice and warm now i think it's probably warm enough for us to apply the plate it's supposed to be raining all day today but Seems to have cleared up quite a bit. Okay, so this one, this plate, we're going to work from the bottom up. We want to get it all nicely lined up in our makeshift placeholder. To the naked eye, it seems all right, but sometimes when you step a bit further away, you see that it, it isn't so. Okay, well, the spirit level is on there, just touching the bottom of the plate. Hopefully, you can see that. So, I'm trying to move this camera with the tripod here, which is not so straightforward. Okay, so it's now touching at all points. The bubble is bang in the middle, so I think we're fairly, uh, fairly confident that we are straight. So I'm now going to apply pressure to the rest of the plate. That appears to be a pretty good fit, so I think we can remove our masking tape. Okay, jobs are good. Enough. Okay, let's have a look how that is when we take a, a step back. Nice with the Gratify logo there. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a, a bit of light reflection coming through the door. But I think the black uh, borders on the plate contrast nicely against the car, especially with the red logo in there. <laughs> Some might say it is only a number plate, 
but I think any uh, any part of your vehicle adds to or detracts from the aesthetics and I think this looks much better with the black borders on the side of the plate as opposed to uh, the blue ones so as I say hopefully I won't have any problems with uh, these plates being on the car if I do I'll have to obviously switch them back over but for the moment I'm pretty happy with that so for now I'll say thank you for watching look forward to seeing you in the next one if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do obviously I'm very new to this I'm trying to uh, build up my my skills build up my number of videos and uh, hopefully be able to produce more content more interesting content for you as we go along so thanks again for watching see you on the next one bye bye